Yo, what is up guys? I know that there's a lot of videos out there right now that are leaving you with unanswered questions to this similar topic. So hopefully today I'm going to change that for you. Uh, first and foremost, the first thing you want to do is go down here. Go click on your uh, NVIDIA control panel. The next step you're going to want to do, under the display tab for custom resolution, you're going to want to scroll down here. Make sure that you have your uh, desired monitor that you play on. Make sure you have that selected. All right, and the next thing you're going to want to do is click customize. Click create a custom resolution. You should have no custom resolutions right now. Uh, these will be default to your monitor, but then you're gonna wanna create a custom resolution here. Uh, next thing you wanna do, enter your desired, um, whatever you want plan to play on. So if you plan to play on, uh, my personal favorite is 1440. I'll leave a link uh, down in the description explaining all the different resolutions that you guys can use that most people use, whether that be different pros or whatever it may be, uh, what people are comfortable with. So first and foremost, you're going to want to do for horizontal, 1440, vertical, 1080. And then your refresh rate, obviously, um, you're going to want to do 144 hertz if that's what your monitor is or whatever your monitor is. You're going to want to set that there. Uh, go ahead and click test. Should go black for a second here. Perfect. And it's not going to look the prettiest. Uh, you can click yes on this. I'll stretch the resolution for you guys in the recording so you know what I'm uh, looking at on my desktop. Now we go ahead and click our custom resolution here and click apply and this is going to be where it stretches the resolution for us perfect now that it's stretched we'll go ahead and click yes now that we've got it's the actual stretch resolution the game still won't quite be in stretched uh and if it is then it won't be uh optimized properly for you so what the next thing you're going to want to do click here go hashtag or percent app data percent go ahead and load that up click on app data up here at the top Go to your local, scroll down till you find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and then you'll have game user settings here. Go ahead and double click that. It should pop up in a normal notepad. Then go ahead and click Control F and type in RES for resolution. Scroll down until you find the proper one right here for resolution size X and Y, and then you'll have last user confirmed resolution X and Y. So we're going to switch this to whatever you set your uh, desktop resolution to in the control panel. File, save, that should be that. Some people have some problems with uh, giving them black bars or anything like that. So the next, so I'll show you a few uh, different things you can do to prevent that from happening. So if you go down to adjust desktop size and position, make sure this is selected to full screen, perform scaling on GPU. And then to over, and then make sure you click override the scaling mode set by games and programs. And then go ahead and click apply. And with that, you should be all set up, ready to go, and we'll launch up some Fortnite. All right, now that we're launched up, as you guys can see, that we do have the stretch resolution and everything is set up properly. Um, we'll go ahead and click play, get into a game, and provide some gameplay for you guys now. Anyway guys, I hope that helped you out at least a little bit. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and please stay up to date with our future videos as we're going to be coming through, helping you guys with every single tutorial that you can think of coming shortly here. Thank you for watching. Peace out.